Use context. React does a pretty good job at managing state inside of a single component, and if you have a child component, you might get away with passing the state down as props. But what about components multiple levels deep? Well, that's the problem that use context addresses. It uses the context API to provide state from a parent component all the way down to its children, regardless of how deeply nested the child component is. In this example, I have a main app component that has one child, and that is the nav component. Now, the nav component has an additional child, which is the button component, and the button component has a state that whenever you click the button, it will toggle between signed in and signed out. Now, the whole purpose of clicking this button is to sign into the entire application, but right now, the state only resides within the button. So how exactly would I change the state of the entire application once I click sign in? Well first things first, I would like to scope the state of being signed in and signed out to the entire application. So therefore, inside of my app component, I'm going to give it the exact same state that I had in the button. So now from my app component, I want to be able to pass the state of being signed in or signed out to every single child component. So I'm going to export a constant called context and I'll set that equal to react.createContext. Next, I'm going to wrap my nav component and my h1 tag inside of a context provider. And the context provider will have a value and I'll just provide to it an array with signed in to view the state and set signed in to change the state. And now inside of my h1 tag, I'm just going to place a ternary operator to check if signed in is true, then displace sign out and vice versa. Now before I continue, note that I am not changing the state anywhere inside of my app.js file, nor am I changing it inside of the nav component that is a direct child to the app component. Component. However, the button component, which is a child to the nav component, will be changing the state. So I'll just import that context constant that I've created earlier, and instead of using use state, I will use use context and provide to it the context that I've imported. And just like that, I have state that is scoped to my entire application. Stay tuned for the rest of my React Hook videos, and if you've learned something new, please make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel, and on that bombshell, thanks for watching.